വെൽക്കം ഇരു ബൈരി Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Today we have the Sonic Wake from Pro Boat. This is a V1. And what I'm attempting to do with a kit from uh basically it's a kit from RC Boat Bits is converting this V1 in let's say a V2. Uh, if you're not aware, there is a Sonic, uh, Sonic Wake V2. If you go check in my video selection, uh, you'll see it. I do have an uh, unboxing video of uh, the V2. And one of the reasons I wanted to convert the V1 in the V2, it's simple, literally. The V1 has basically one input. Um, and the V2, the, the V2 version has two inlets. This only has one. And one of the biggest reason you want two inlets is one water comes in, goes in your motor, then goes to your speed control, then exits the boat. The motor is hot already. That water that's hot goes to a hot speed control and exits the boat. Basically, yes, you're cooling down your motor. That's one of the major, uh, not problem, but one of the major cause of brushless motors to, to fail is heat. Brushless motors, they really don't like the heat. At the end of the day too, speed control don't really like it. Um, but having a dual inlet dual water coming in you're going to cool the motor by itself and exit the boat you're going to cool the speed control by itself and exit the boat you're not circulating hot water to one item to another item that's one of the reason i wanted to do this the modification here and there's other reason i wanted to do too just not the dual pickup uh and Just before I go to the other items, one of the things I do like what they did is there's two fins on this side here that takes the water in and there's two more on the other side. Basically, if you look at this guy here, there's one insert. It's hard to see right here. There's only one and it's kind of dead center of the fin. Water rushes in goes up the tube, comes out here and goes through the boat. What I like, it dated on the side, it goes in. They're spaced out. This is about a quarter inch. This is half an inch on that side. They're spaced out. There's just more water will just rush in and go in the boat. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is they do have trimming tabs on the side here. You can adjust these by just bending them if you wanted to. But I said to myself, there has to be a better system up there. And yes, there is. These guys right here from the same company, it's just a complete kit. Screw in the boat. Then you have two more screws on top that you can tighten to move these fins independently. And you can see It is cut in the middle, a little bit harder to see. You could take this trim tab, bring it down and keep the other one high to give you a little bit more st stability on the water itself. And these are adjustable on the fly. Uh, this looks like a 2.5, remember correctly. Yeah, 2.5, so this is a two mil. Uh, and adjust them separately. The other thing I want is the side fins they're a lot bigger these are like razor blade you can sharpen these to cut the water even more and this is the exit water outlets and 
There's a specific name for this. I call it the transom. But this is the guy that goes right here. Then you have your prop coming out. Prop shaft, should I say? I did an advance in the video itself. I did run the new lines. Um, in the boat itself, you have the main one that's right here. I had to oversize the hole to uh, a quarter and use a little bit of dish soap to be able to feed them in. In the boat itself, there is not pre-drill, but in the physical transom in the in the, vig in the in the boat, it's already made for a second hole. You just need to pierce the hole. I oversized it to a quarter, fed both lines inside. There's one line goes to the motor and the other line goes to the speed control. The exit that you can see right here, this is a stock one. I had to oversize the 516 from her correctly. And I drilled this one here. Try to put them as good separation and pretty much the same height. Might have a slight difference, but not major. Now, the other thing you have to physically mod to this boat to be able to install this kit that at first I didn't really like to do but it makes sense your stuffing tube that your prop shaft rides into normally this should stick out this long and the reason is the stock one this lives inside What I did, there is videos out there. I saw somebody with a physical grinder. You don't need to do a grinder on it. You don't want it to out too much in. Basically what I did, I went inside the boat. There's two screws that holds the uh, physical stuffing tube. Unscrew them. I pushed the shaft back in where I think it was roughly about one eight before the main, main bolt of the motor. And I took one of my fine cutting saws and basically just rode the back of the boat. Just before the rubber that's in the, that seals it. Then once that's done, I took my X-Acto and I just took my blade and I just went around it. Now it's going to be a little bit harder to see. But I just took my blade, cut all around to be able to remove this seal. I don't want to completely remove it because this prevents water from coming in. One of the things I'm going to do, again, I saw videos, people jamming this full of, full of silicone. Every hole jamming it full of silicone. I don't want to do that. I want a clean insulation. Uh, I want... If somebody looks at my boat, is yeah, dude, this is nice. Doesn't look like it was done in a backyard basement or something. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, once I cut it, removed the seal, I took a flat screwdriver, went inside, pried it a bit to push it back out. You don't want to push it back too much in because this moves to be able to adjust your pitch. And one of the reasons you want to be able to adjust your pitch is when you're planting on the water and let's say you, you're just putting and you're flooring in it, your boat's going to come up. That's, a, that's just a given. Even the real boat does the same thing too. That's why you have a trim on your boat. Basically, when you're taking off, you can trim it and it's just going to plane faster and your front end is going to go sit on top of the water and then you're, you're bolting. This does the same thing to you. Now it is, it's not adjustable, but you could physically play with it a bit, give it an angle, give it an angle, tighten back up, try it, try it. Oh, I like this one, keep it that way, and you're, you're gonna have a more, more fun with your boat too. And you do have these fins here to stabilize your boat. This won't prevent it from uh, your front end going back down faster. It's really your pitch here. There is a seal inside of here. We don't want this too far out to be in the 
physical way of this movement here. And you're trying to prevent less water possible to go back in this tube. That's one of the reasons you do grease your tube pretty much every run you do. It keeps your shaft physically lubed up and prevents water from going back in. Again, this is a boat. You're trying to have less water in your boat as possible. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove these two screws here. Grab the correct screwdriver. And the reason I kept these screws in here is before I knew I need to cut this tube, I put a little bit of silicone in them. I just want to make sure the silicone doesn't set, prevent me from screwing it back in. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a little bit more in these holes. You don't need tons. And I'm just going to go around the shaft. Again, I don't want tons. I just want it to seal it. I know people sometimes go literally bananas. But again, you don't want too much. Sometimes too much is too much. Grab my screwdriver, my screw. I'm going to fully tighten, tighten all the way in yet. That's perfect. A little bit of silicone came out underneath. I'm just going to wipe it now. Okay, this seems to be seated correctly. There we go. This moves freely, does not interfere with anything. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this to the end. I'm gonna go with my fins. Again, with the fins, same thing. You don't, at the end of the day, you don't really need to put a silicone in the hole. I just want to do it. Gives me a second protection if I ever lose a screw or starts backing up, backing up, uh, backing out. And the other thing too that I forgot to mention, if you do buy this kit, basically, they give you a set of screws for these fins and they come with nuts. You have to drill in the transom itself and I don't want to do that. I just turn around, change the screws, put a little bit longer stain in stainless. Because the screws that comes with it, I think they're like a quarter inch long. And I don't want to drill through the transom and put a bolt inside. Now, just before you fully tighten, just take your fingers underneath the plate, lift the plate. That way it's flush with the hull.
And again, don't tighten it to the point that you're going to strip it. But this is solid. Let's do the other side. Just a little bit. But this is a, an awesome kit. Would have been fun that ProBoat, aka Horizon Hobbies, would have brought out, brought out a kit to convert your V1 into a V2. Now, once this is done, we're not 100% a V2. Uh, the V2 has a different motor, if I remember correctly, I think it may be even a speed control. I don't know the specs of the newer motor by heart, but if you do go check the video I made, and it's in with my other videos, you'll see it. I think it's a higher KV motor in it, if I remember correctly. There we go. Again, a little bit. Now I'm gonna grab the old one. And I have to remove the screw underneath here. The easiest way I always found out is to be able to do it is basically you hold underneath it and just put a screwdriver or something in it that for some reason I can't find. Okay, there we go. I just grabbed like one of my screwdrivers. Instead of grabbing another... Uh, pair of pliers and I just do it that way doesn't create any damage and take that off now on the newer one I know that goes in the first hole For some reason, I don't think it's the same size. No. It's not the same size. I might need to drill that out. But put that aside for the moment. These here, these guys, I'm gonna wait the, till the end. I don't want to hit myself multiple times, but I'm going to grab my screws. I'm just going to turn the boat a little bit on the other way. And I'm going to install this. Come on. Again, you don't want it too tight. You're going to hear me say that often. Because I see a lot of people 
It's basically, you could do it for a drill. I do have my, uh, my hobby drill here. It does have a clutch, but I don't always trust it. I was going to the outer one here. I don't know if you're gonna really see it. The outer one here, but I'm guessing it's gonna be in the middle. Nah. Yeah. But again, what I'm gonna do is unbolt it and I'm gonna drill it uh, to the size of the middle shaft and just it's gonna float inside like the stock one. But once that's done, this is gonna be awesome. <clears throat> And then we'll be able to do our hoses, but let's put our fins on. And the cutting edge faces forward the boat. And for sure, you will need to put them the angle you want. Try to find my trusty, one of my biggest snap-on wrenches I have. Now it will probably take me uh, a little bit of some adjusting to do to get this boat to perform the way I want it. But once that's physically done, this is gonna be an amazing machine. Okay. Now, the other thing I have left to do really is three things. My water out, my water in, and modification of this. The modification of the rudder in the back here. My output. And my in. Let's put these guys here. Now, it's gonna be hard to show you what it looks like inside, but I'm just grabbing a socket just to tighten the uh, the bolt. And this is uh, 11 mil. There's maybe some of you don't know what an 11 mil is. I'm in Canada. We use the metric system here too. Just be careful if you do get this kit on these guys here, there is a seal on the side.
Now to do this part here, you might need a hand from one of your friends or your, one of your mates. Both my pickups outputs are right there. Now what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to flip it the other way around. My table is kind of not long enough. Like I said, I'm going to drill this later on. You could do whatever you want on this part. But what I'm gonna do, like I say, I'm gonna drill this a little bit bigger. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but this bolt here doesn't fit. I thought in the beginning it might be, would be threaded, it's not. But I don't want to put it, if not, my bar is gonna be like, like this on top of it. I don't want that. Slight, slight bend to it, I don't mind, but it's a way too big of a bend. What I'm going to end up doing here is giving some not too tight. That way it won't prevent it from turning. And if you notice, I didn't cut them equal. Because one's going to go inside, the other one's going to get outside. And I don't, I don't want them to interfere with each other. And it gives a nice bend. Now what I'm going to do is grab my hose, go to my furthest hold, and this is the one that's going to go to the motor. Then I have the one for the speed control that the stock hose is still on it. I'm gonna go in my second one. And make sure when you do put your hose that it's inserted all the way in. It's going to be hard to see. There we go. And I'm going to go to my speed control. And the other thing I'm going to do, because there is some leftovers, because it's not the same size as the stock one. It is a little bit bigger. I'm going to remove the loop on the speed control. Even then, if I go this route here, it's giving a kick. I want to change this guy here to put a little bit bigger. Uh, but I'm going to keep the stock one. Simple reason, because if I put it too short, it gives a kink 
and I'm going to prevent water from coming in uh, because of the self writing system. I don't have enough room. But it's going to stay that way. Now, the water lines inside of the boat, I don't want them too tight, not too long either. The size they are right now, it's perfect. I might even shorten the speed control one a bit more. Just to, yeah, I will. Just to have it less, I want to be able to exit the boat as fast as possible. There you go. This one here, if I put it too short, I'm going to create a kink and I don't want a kink. And then basically you grab your stuffing tube, well your stuffing tube, I mean your, uh, your prop with your shaft. I'm going to put this nylon nut back. Unscrew my my nut inside. And tighten it back up. I'm gonna keep, keep it on the boat for the moment. I'm gonna remove it and lube it first. But just for the sake of the video, put it back in. And then I'm gonna remove this, drill it, to be able to put my part back, to be able to gain my steering back. If you guys are interested in this kit, it is uh, basically go to rcboatbits.com and you're able to find this kit. I'll try to remember to put post it down below. Uh, if I do forget, you'll know where to get it. It comes with everything you need, the fins, the tabs, the transom, it's not the actual name, that's what I call it. You do have the rudder, comes with the hose, everything you need in the kit to be able to do this. Convert your Sonic Wake V1 to uh, V1.1, should I say. It's not actual V2, because we still have the stock ESC and stock motor in it. But if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It does help the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.